Hi everybody, we're in here with Amber. She's want me to want me to give her a trim and I wanted to ask you, Amber, what what is it that you want me to do to your hair today? So I'm thinking that it's just too long for summertime and I was hoping to get like two inches off the bottom. That's how much that's that's a little bit more than the trim, sweetheart. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, I mean two inches then, whatever you call that. <laughs> okay. Um I like care of your your hair, thank Amber. You. I'm proud I like of you. how long it is. I'm liking the length. Okay. And I like the one length. Like I don't want any layers or anything like that. Um, and I don't want bangs or anything like that. So just two inches off the bottom. It's two inches off the bottom, plain boom boom. That's it. Yeah. No shape. You want to shape the rest. All no. Some full haircut. Okay. Good. We're gonna go into the wash thing. Cool. Thank you. Okay. So now Amber here, where she only wants two inches off, and everyone's two inches is in their head is different. So one, you know. She's the one paying the bill. Even though I want to be creative and do all these things, she's still the one paying you the, your 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 bill, right? And paying your rent and all that. So we got to make sure that we clean the wax out of our ears and pay attention and listen to what our customers are saying. Okay, so her two inches, her two inches might be like this to her, or it might be like that. Who knows? So we got to really find out what two inches means to. To Amber here, so how I do that is first of all, we got to get it all combed out, all prepared, right, Amber? So, how have you been, honey? Okay. So, your hair's longer in the front, okay. so if you know I, I cut two inches off, it's going to affect what, what length it is in the front as well. So, so you're a lot longer in the front. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Can I make it all one way? I sure can. So what we'll do is I'll, I'll, uh, I'm going to have you stand up here in a second. Okay, so I just want to go ahead and stand up. I have, I have them stand, because these people with long hair, well, our guests with long hair, come on out here, Amber. Stand up because then, now her hair, you know, when I'm, I'm trying to figure out a length or even try to make everything straight, She's standing up, her body's in a nice straight position. That way, you can give a, uh, your guest a nice, nice even hair, haircut, especially when it lays on the back. And, you know, it's not, you know, when they leave, they don't feel like their head's on crooked because you, you know, because most people have a tendency to, when they're sitting, they have a tendency to, I call it bobblehead, you know what I mean? They move over here, move there. When they're standing, they're, they're concentrating on standing up and then your head's nice and straight. Just a little trick I've learned over the years. So anyway, Amber, see your, your hair is like a, your hair is angled towards the front. So what we'll do is we will cut less off the back, back length and a little bit more on the side length. Hold on. You understand what I'm saying? So we'll balance it out, okay? So how I'm going to do that is split this down the middle, from behind the ear, making sure that she's comfortable and comfortable. Yeah. I put a little after party in there, <laughs> combing out the tangles. I, I love how after party works. It's just a fantastic product to use when you, you know, get out of the shower and you're combing out the tangles. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and please, please hold these two things for me nice and tight right there. I'll hold that nice and tight. Make sure you're standing nice and straight. Turn it down just a little tiny bit. Now, you don't have to make all kinds of sections or nothing because she doesn't have super, super thick hair. But what you do want to do is get all these little hairs that are underneath. And you probably can't see it on the camera, but, you know, using the, the small end of your comb, not the wide end, the, uh, you want to use the, the, the thin end here because that gets all them little hairs that are hanging out underneath here leave. You know what I mean? You want to make sure that them are all combed out nice and flat. And what I do is get this so I know what an inch is so I can balance this out in the front so that Amber here is happy with the two inches that she's asking me to take off of her hair. Okay? So, and you can see previously somebody else tried to do something different there. You see how that's all unbalanced? Bam, bam, right? So we're going to straighten that out, right? So that's about an inch there to me. 
that'll last maybe three quarters, but it's going to balance it out in the front because it's way longer in the front. And you see my shears are doing that. That means it's time to tighten them up a tiny bit. Okay, come on over here, Franklin, over this side. Relax your arms to your side now. Okay, now I'm going to marry what I just did to the sides. And that's not hard to do. And you don't have to do all them crazy sections like you're taught in school. But what you do have to do is get their head in perfect position. And then you want to grab that hair so it's just behind the ear. Because that's where the back and the front start to meet up. You see how much different that is? You see Now, that's a little bit more than two inches there, Amber. But this will balance it out. That'll balance it. See that? Now it'll be balanced. You won't have, uh, okay? Yeah, that's You were a little off there. So okay, see, I'm catching my guideline there. See that? I hold it nice and flat. My, my fingers are, are straight across, nice and parallel. Okay, for this particular one. But you could be creative. You don't have to do the same. I mean, this is just how I felt with this one. And, you know, a lot of times, people's hair, for me, uh, people's hair tell me what they want. Uh, the hair just telling me what to do. I'm not, you know, at this point, it's telling me to lay it down like that. So I can get a nice balance. There we go. Okay, now we're going to move to the other side and do the same thing. The same exact thing. Get her to do the same thing right about there. Very good, Amber. Okay, just behind the ear. I always pick it up to see if I'm getting them little hairs like we talked about. So that's very important. Super important. See where my guide is now. A little bit less on this side, huh? But since I made it nice and square in the back, and it's nice and uh, level now, it will be super easy to make this haircut nice and even on, and balanced on both sides. Now, over the years... Um, I, mean, I used to be really heavy handed at this, but you know, I, I learned to ask people, does that hurt? You, you know, and so, you know, you got to have a gentle hand at this type of thing, so you're not hurting people. Alright, I'm going to move to the front now, step back. There you go. Now, we am come in these bags here. Okay, because she wants to be one length. Still just going to, nice and simple. But what I'm going by is see how I just pull it out. I'm not trying to make any partings. This is how the hair is telling me to do it. Okay, and this is how it lands. And this is how you're going to have the best results. It's not trying to make it happen, but letting it happen for itself. See how that just fell in by itself, them parts right here? Right there and right there. It just fell in by itself. I didn't make that. It's just what it's telling me to do. So from there, I do the same thing and balance it. I pull it straight out. I just give it a, a nice straight look. I'm not going to try to point cut her because she's not that type of kid. Woman, I mean, you're not a kid anymore. I'm sorry, Amber. You're a woman. I'm, I apologize. Anyways, we used to have seen her as a kid. She'll always be a kid to me, right? Same thing on this side. Oh, here, Amber. Or, Evelyn. Same thing. See how I get a nice balance out of that? And this is the side that was different. Totally different. So... Don't be afraid and think you're cutting too much. That's just where your guidelines are. It is what it is. So we're going to cut that up a little bit more on this side in the front. Don't be scared. Get in there and do it. Follow your guidelines. As long as you make a guideline, you can't go wrong. It's, a, it's, it's impossible to go wrong as long as you've got a good guide. And you don't get lost in it. You know, well, I know Amber, she's, she's a, just a, she likes to wear her hair one length and plain. But, you know... All the years of experience I have, I know she'd be a little happier if I trimmed the whole shape, so we will go ahead and do that. Go ahead and have a seat now, Amber. The reason I have people stand up, I don't know if I went over this or not, is because you can see they're at eye level, and, and then their head's not bobbling all over the place. You know what I mean? And then for to, to do the shape, since Amber does not want to see any layers, it's very important that you know we follow this certain pattern so that she's not going to be able to see that but yet you bet you're able to give your guest a whole haircut instead of just on the bottom which to me would be a half a haircut 
would not be a full full trim, you know what I mean? So how have you been, Amber, anyway? You're all done with college and stuff? Yeah, yeah, just working. What do you do now? Um, I'm a fraud analyst in oh, Erie, fraud. So I look at all my purchases and find really? like the bad guys who steal and use credit cards. No kidding. Once in a while we run into a run into a wrinkle there, so <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Watch this with this. This is a Schwarzkopf brush. And that's caused because that happens because Amber here has not had her hair shaped and I probably can't tell you how long, huh, Amber? So that's why that's happened right there. Usually. And once you shape it and just trim that little bit around the, the whole head, then you should that should not happen anymore. I don't understand what happened there. When that happens, you just kind of got a ginger to pull them out, but it happens. Nothing you can do about it. It's like a... We've got something in there. Just jump and trim that out. Maybe I still have to that. I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of... Something was in there. Some kind of glue or something. I don't understand why I didn't catch it the other end, but, oh well, that's out of there now. <laughs> Alright, so back to what we're doing. So, catching people with fraud, how's that? How's that going? Good, good. There's no, not a shortage of work. <laughs> yeah, Annie, you might want to come over this edge here now, honey, okay? Come over here. Not a shortage of work, huh? Mm, a lot of crooks out there, huh? Yeah. Why, you think? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Economy? A lot of bad guys. Wow, she catches people that are... <laughs> dang. So anyway, back to so she don't see any layers is very important to her. She made it very clear, so we'll make sure we don't let that happen to her. But we can't let them little knots be in there either, right? So we're going to let a lot of these hairs fall. See how that fell, all them hairs? Okay, if I trim that off, it's going to give you balance so that... <laughs> Be able to see them shape that I just put in there. Let's let them fall out. More of them, and then that way, I'm sure, still giving you a good trim, but you know, it's the whole thing. You know what I mean? And by doing that, making my guideline straight down the middle. Very important to make your guideline. If you don't, then the whole thing becomes unbalanced and. You know, this is a type of hair, hair cut that you don't want to free in. You just want to catch your guideline and make sure you got a good one. And then see them shorter pieces fall? There. Simple. Line oh. right down, straight down the middle here. Simple, simple. And then we're going to do some partings here on the side. Make sure your partings are nice and neat. There's another one of those thingamajiggers. I call them shock knots because that's what happens. The cuticle in your hair gets, it, it opens up, okay? And when that happens, it starts to create a tangle. You know, shock knot. Right? <laughs> I like this music, Amber. Good choice. Thank you. Very cool. I hope you can hear it in the background. It'd be neat. I'm going to make a new video, by the way. I've got a few that I've got. Some fans, it's awesome to see people in I do, you know what I mean? That, and people ask me questions. You know what I mean? I think that the internet and YouTube and all that, that's so much fun. You know what I mean? So, pull that straight up, catch our guideline, which probably won't be too much because we got all that fall, but we'll just give that a little trim. See how nice that was, Amber? No layers. You still got a full hair. The full thing. You know what I mean? The Annie hair trim. There you go. Yeah. Annie. Annie's the camera girl. <laughs> the camera woman. I mean, they're women now. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, I, I've been, I've been working on these, these girls here since they were kids, 
and now they're grown women in their 20s. Shows me how old I am, huh? How old are you now, Am or uh, Adeline? I am 22. 22? Making them partings nice and neat. Here we go. I always like to have control of the hair. Nice and controlled. I take and make them partings and I comb all this bad, nice and simple. Okay, take the bottom of your comb, move that out, give it a twist. That will save you from having to grab a clip or anything like that because I can't stand clips. I hate using clips or clamps or whatever you want to call them. Put your fingers underneath there. Now, last couple of haircuts you guys see me do have been very basic because that's what the customer asks. That's what my guests ask. So you got to do what they want. They're paying you. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm not doing all the point cutting and softening because she doesn't want that. So she just wants it to be nice and one length. And simple, right, Amber? She said next time maybe we can do something funny. Right? Or yeah. fun. Funny. I said funny. <laughs> I meant to say fun. My tongue's like twisted today. I don't know why. Yeah, by using the small end of the comb, the, the, the thin teeth, you're you're able to uh, grab all them little hairs at the scalp and pull them straight out, you know. And it, for me, it, it gives me more control of what I'm doing with it, with the hair when I'm making my parties, because it's very important to have nice and neat parts. If you don't then it's just a slop, you get to turn out sloppy. And you know, the, your guest is not going to be happy. It's, they're paying you to do a good job. Right? You guys? Yeah. Definitely don't want people calling you back and saying, oh, I'm not happy. Fix it. Because that usually won't happen. They'll go somewhere else. There, see the, all that looks a little bit right there. I made most of that guideline in the back, and it was mainly in the front there, down the middle. Nothing much to cut off. But that's better for Amber because that's what she wanted. Right, definitely have to trim that because that's on balance. Right there, see a little point there to get off of. Okay, now I'm going to come to the back. I have my light set up in here, you guys, so it's going to be my, my camera girl, Anna Lynn, she's tripping all over my stuff. Sorry, kid. <laughs> Straight down for that. Grabbing all them little hairs, very important. See? You can get a zoom up in there and see that right there? You got it. You have to get those hairs. If you don't, it's going to be sloppy. You're going to have little tiny hairs sticking out, and you don't want that at the end when you're blow drying it. Same thing on the other side. You know, so, so it looks just like that when you're all done combing all this up there like that. See how nice that is? Okay, and this is the last cut, and we're done. Really nothing much to trim off, and that's it with that. I'm just combing out and see how it looks, huh? Yeah. I think I gave Amber what she wanted. Except for, you know, I'm a little more experienced, so I know how to still give her that hair hair trim that she's asking for without her knowing I gave her some long layers. You know, they'll be hidden there and she won't see them. That's important. That's a whole shaping, you know, it's the shape. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then your hair will be nice and healthy. Okay, we're going to come back and get the end and when I blow dry it. So, I'm just finishing up the blow dry here. And I'll tell you, all I did was use this big fat more bristle round brush, which I've had for 30 years. That's no joke, 30 years. I've had it for 30 years. It's one of my most important tools. I think that's why you ladies like when I blow dry your hair, you know? Because it, it creates, it makes the hair nice and smooth. It's, 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 uh, it's one of the better tools I've ever had. 
as far as like being basic and you know doing this if you want it you know what I mean but you know everybody wants to smooth down blow dry you know versus the hot flat iron that pulls out your color and everything you know anyway uh, again I'm going to turn back to this product here which is awesome go ahead stand up again come right over here now if you guys notice she asked, she didn't want to have any layers, but we gave her a, a, a little shape, you know what I mean? But you can't see none of that. Come on here, Annalyn. Can you see any of them layers? No. No, you can't. It's still shaped. We did a whole trim from front to back, top to bottom, and, you know, just gave her what she wanted, two inches. Basic. Nothing crazy, but it still looks nice, you know what I mean? It's still okay. I don't have to go crazy with it. She don't want Go ahead and check it out. Right there. Go ahead and grab that. Turn around and face me. And then hold the mirror. There you go. How's that feel? Is that the two nice. inches you want? Yeah, that looks really good. I like that length. Yeah, see, but it's, you know, it's nothing crazy. It's just yeah. there. But it still looks okay. You know what I mean? Get a real nice close up shot of how nice and smooth your hair looks. You know what I mean? Look how smooth that looks. It's awesome. And you don't have to do. I mean, to make somebody's hair look awesome, you, you don't have to do all that crazy stuff to it, you know, and, you know, the main thing that I think that people, we're forgetting here as hairdressers is that, man, we got to clean the, the wax out of our ears and start listening to what the people that are paying our bills want, you know, and then that keeps them coming back, you know, you know, I mean, it, it's just what it is, you know, so what do you think? Yeah, I like it. It's okay? Yeah. Can't see no layers, right? Yeah. No, it's perfect. It's not layered, it's shaped. That's why yeah, I call that okay. shape. That's yeah. not that's nothing fantastic, just you know. Anything else I can do for you, man? Is it nice and even? Pull down the front, let me see. Pull down the front and see if we got that nice and even now. Well I did I just side parted, I don't know if that's that okay. was no. Great. Perfect with the depth. Perfectly blended. Yeah. And this is what I do for every single one of my ladies when I'm done with their, with, when they're, they're, my guest is done, we're all finished, I walk them right to their car, you know, I think it's, you know, it sets me apart from everybody else, and that's just very important to me, that every single one of these ladies gets walked to their car like a gentleman, you know, not that you ladies hairdressers should walk your guys out, but you know. <laughs> Any young guys out there doing any young dudes out there trying to do Thank this you is so much. Thank you. You're welcome, Ember. I'll see you again, okay? okay. And this is what you guys should do. Alright, thanks.